I see you're fully ready and fully engaged for tomorrow's night's epic yeah. versus. I see you got your Harlem pink on. Jewels. You got you got your Harlem pink on. So I already I already know what what, what tone you setting right now. Come but on. we got to start with the NBA. Today's the official beginning of NBA free agency. We just had the draft a few nights ago, and there's already a lot of moves happening. Lonzo Ball, as we speak now, it looks like he's going to be signing with the Bulls. Your Lakers, I know short-term lease that you got going on with them, okay, but your on. Lakers made the biggest move of draft night by acquiring Russell Westbrook. In return, they had to give up Kyle Kuzma, Montrez Harrell, KCP, and the 22nd pick in the draft. So let's start there, Trip. How are you feeling today as we get into the NBA free agency? I'm feeling amazing because, you know, you, you and I, uh, we had combo on uh, a couple of episodes ago, and uh, I was I was going to bat for Russ coming to the Lakers. I was saying that I think it, it, it would be a really good acquisition for them. I think he's going to gonna benefit them. I think he's going to go back home. Um, I think I think he's going to going to help get the Lakers back to uh, to the to the finals this year. Um, I, I, I love the move. I know they got to fill out uh, the rest of the roster spots. I'm, I'm hearing Melo's name. I'm hearing they're still trying to go after Buddy Hell, maybe DeMar DeRozan. So I'm actually liking where everything is is going right now. I think uh, LeBron is about to about to get to number five. We definitely got to see how they fill out the rest of the roster. As you mentioned, when we had Combo on a few weeks ago, um, I think we all like Russell Westbrook. Me personally, I was skeptical of what the fit would be. So therefore, I'm not going to be too critical on the move just yet because, as you mentioned, there's some other veteran names floating around. Uh, it looks like there's interest from Melo and DeMar DeRozan to possibly join. Obviously, the Lakers have little bit of cap space, but more importantly, they have Dennis Schroeder as a possible trade chip that could open up a slot for somebody to come there. Um, like you said, possibly Buddy, Buddy Hield or possibly somewhere else, and you able to fill in that slot. So I'm going to wait and see what they do. Uh, the same probably could happen with DeAndre Jordan. They probably could finesse a sign and trade there if the right suitor were to come about for DeAndre Jordan. I don't know what his cap numbers are officially to look like. Uh, it does look like Dwight Howard wants to go back to the Lakers as well. That's been reported. So I'm going to wait till they fill it out completely. As currently constructed, I don't think the Lakers have enough. Um, I, I, I'm just being honest because we know as great as Braun, AD, and Westbrook sounds, they still need shooters around them. So right now they don't have the shooters. So I'm going to take a wait and see approach. But if they make the right move or two, over the next two weeks, they definitely will be in position, I think, to, to not only be the favorites to come out of the West, but possibly the favorites in the whole league. Yeah, I think so. There's something that I even I read today that uh, Oladipo would take the minimum to go play with the Lakers. I don't know how you know how, how true that, that statement is, but I was actually reading that earlier this morning. So I think they'll definitely find guys that want to sign up to, to play with LeBron and AD and now uh, Russell Westbrook. Uh, I'm, I'm I'm looking forward to it, man. You know, uh, we had the first big uh, signing, I guess, a, a little while ago. So it's going to be a, a lot going on with the free agency over the next uh, week, week and a half. Smush Parker here, formerly up to the Los Angeles Lakers, and you are now tuned in to Real Fans, Real Talk.